Hello, welcome back. So, today I'm going to be talking about UHD. Yay, my school. Yay, fine college. Okay, anyway. So, <clears throat> um, I get some questions about like, does if UHD has dorms first off UHD stands for University of Houston downtown so it is affiliated with UH but it's not UH like if that makes sense so if someone asks you oh where do you go you do not go to UH you go to UHD but you know say what you want <clears throat> um so UHD does not have dorms there are no dorms there you can stay in the UH apartments, like the University of Houston, like their student living apartments, or you can get, you know, your own apartment. Um, I mean, if you have money for that, but you know. Um, or you could stay at home for free if you're, if you know, if your people are cool like that, you know, whatever. Um, but for the most part, there are there are no dorms there. There's no there's no on campus living. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. If you need somewhere to stay, like, you have to make those arrangements, like, definitely prior to before, like, prior, prior to before, that's the same thing, prior to school starting. So, um, another one that, what's the other one? Um, how do you get there? I take public transit. I drive my car to another place, and then that bus takes me to where I need to be. Oh, got a text message. Okay, this is a little excessive. Why three messages in a row? No. Um, but yeah. So, there's a thing. It, like in downtown, there's a rail. And you can get on the rail. You can... I take the park and ride. There's a park and ride, like, almost everywhere in Houston. So, you can... Well, I don't live near it. So, you have to drive to the park and ride. Park your car there. Get on. And then it takes you downtown. And you can get on... <clears throat> You can get on, like, basically any parking ride you want. and But just make sure, it, like, you know, isn't too far from your house. So, whenever you get there, you can take the rail, and it'll take you to, like, you know, the campus. Um, the campus has three buildings, four buildings, three and a half buildings. One's still in the process of being built. They're building a science building. Um, I got advertised last semester and this semester as like one of the faces for UHD so I mean if you see me around you'll you'll see me you'll see me you know on pictures or whatever um this lady told me I was on a bus but I haven't seen it yet I'm still looking on like still trying to like look and see you know but I don't take the bus to different to different buildings because all my classes are in one, are in one building so like there's a building for basically like the criminal justice majors, the business majors, um, all the other majors, and then they're they're building a building for the science and biology major people. Um, so you know, it's fun. <clears throat> I will say it's well, I think it's hard to make friends anywhere, but I mean not that I don't mind not having friends because I don't mind not having friends, but it's nice to have like a nice little study group or somebody you can like run into in the hallway like that was my problem i had whenever i first got there is that it's it's like everyone already has their friend group set <clears throat> which most people do whenever you first go off to a new school um but like the more i started like making like 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 the more i started taking classes there people like oh do you want to study oh let's let's swap let's swap swap numbers that way we can study sometime what is she doing uh, that way you can like study at the library together or whatever or you can you know there's be like the college being in downtown there's tons and tons of like places to meet up at so if you want to like study at you know like starbucks i mean these are starbucks in the in the school there's a starbucks Subway, Pizza Place, Salad Bar, Chick-fil-A, and then this other random place that UHD has made. And they have, they have like a breakfast bar and then a lunch bar. Um, I don't eat there. <laughs> because one, I'm broke. So two, uh, the food just looks weird. And they have, they have burgers, but I don't eat burgers. So 
people tear those things up like up um what else is downtown oh there's tons of bars there tons of bars so you know finals week you'll catch most students at the bar because why not hello it's uh finals week so um there's this place what's it called the lone star taco or lone star taco or something like that that's a really popular place and there's also like a chipotle down the street from the school dude there's so many things that you so many places to eat at so many places to meet up at like it's just great like the, you should definitely go there but one okay my window is open and I definitely look a little washed out um you can I like it because one it's so much cheaper than UH I'm literally paying half the tuition that I'm pay, that I would have been paying if I would have went to UH so I mean, sometimes I, I really do wish, like, man, I wish I could have gone to UH because they have a ton of, like, hold on, I need to really close this window because you cannot see. Um, or sometimes I wish I would have gone to UH just because of the simple fact that they have so much merchandise. Like, you can wear a UH jacket, UH, like, baseball cap, like, earrings, socks. My dog can have a sweater if she wanted to if I went to UH. But UHD, they just have, like, the minimum because they don't it's not a big school they don't even have their own football field there like they have sports but you're never going to see them on tv like you do uh uh is a way bigger much more seriously taken campus than uhd is but i mean i like it because it's really it's really personal and the classes are small so one of my classes literally this semester is the smallest class i've ever had there's nine people in there and the professor he's pretty cool like we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the professor i mean not that i talk to the professors or anything i don't even know their names but um you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the professors if you are one of those students that need help um what else parking i don't drive there so i don't know but i do know you have to pay to park everywhere everywhere in downtown you drive your car you're paying to park at the school you want to park in spaghetti warehouse parking lot you're paying to park there too. you're paying to park anywhere you drive anywhere you're driving downtown you're paying so it's just better to find public transit like it's houston like why drive anywhere there's public transit um what else yeah my main thing is that they don't have any dorms but I mean, I'm at that age. I've already stayed in the dorms, like, for whenever I went up to a, a JUCO. So, I've already had my dorm experience, and I'm over it. So, at this point, it's, like, just apartments, really. But the apartments that are at UH, to me personally, are not in, like, you know, the best part of town. So, I wouldn't move there. Like, and the, the amounts that they're charging you to stay there isn't worth the isn't worth like the area that you get like it's not worth it the apartments are really nice but your car might get broken into like you see like it doesn't it doesn't level out like they'll charge you you know two thousand dollars for rent a month i mean if you can afford it then go right ahead but most college students cannot so i mean you can get like a roommate but you know like nobody wants those <laughs> um what else I mean, it's pretty It's pretty cool at, at UHD. They have a gym. It's a free gym. Um, I went today, and two, I will say, two of the treadmills are broken, and there's only four treadmills. So, I will say that. But they have trainers. They have where you can get certified as a personal trainer if you want. They have, um, they have classes. They have yoga classes. They have Zumba classes. Um, they have a lot of stuff. Their gym is really cool. Um, I think there's also, I just signed a paper last semester like in vote i think it's like some petition that's in vote for a new gym i'm fine with the gym that we have now because i know if they build a new gym the tuition is gonna go up and the tuition is also gonna go up after that science building is done being built because science buildings are so expensive dude you have to fill it with all all of the science the items like you know the beakers the test tubes and you know, the scalpels, the animals that you got to dissect on. Like, I don't have time for that. I'm not, that's not my major. I'm not even worried about that. So, that, mm -mm. so I'm trying to graduate before that building is done being built because I'm not having that going to be a part of my tuition. Um, I will say, like, 
If you do not drive there, you better check the weather every single morning. Because if you go downtown and you don't have on the right shoes and you don't have any extra shoes in your car because your car is not in downtown with you, you are screwed. It will rain randomly and you will have sandals on. Your stand Not only are your sandals ruined, um, your feet are wet. So, you know, not cool. Um, there are, I will say there are a lot of like homeless people that are in downtown, but they're not at the top of, by UHD. Like UHD is like on this hill type thing. And the homeless people, they're not on, like they're not up there because we have security. But they're like more down like Main Street. Like the further down you go, they're, that's where they are. They don't, I mean they panhandle, but I mean, you know, just don't, I mean, give them money. I mean, I don't because I'm broke. But, you know, hey, if you're one of those, go, go, go right ahead. Um, what else? Oh, there's a police academy there. So if you want to be like a cop, whatever, you know, Paul Blart, you can go right on ahead. Uh, get you a, a little certification or whatever at the UHD thing. They make you run laps around the whole building. Buildings, I should say. I've seen them go to the business building and run around. Like they run down that hill and run back up that hill and run back around the building. Um... I've seen them do that. There's a lot of good taco places out there. Like, I'm a foodie, dude. I don't know if you could tell, but I probably gained some weight since my last video. I'm a foodie. Like, dude, they have the best tacos, best margaritas. There's this place called the Cotton Exchange. And I think back in the day, they actually did used to produce cotton there. And my professor actually recommended it to me. She was like, well, to the class. She was like, yeah, it used to be an old cotton place. You know, they used to make cotton there. But they have really good margaritas. We went and, dude, it was great. And right next door to the cotton exchange, like, here's the cotton exchange. Here's another place. This place right here has tacos. It's like an unlimited taco place. And on Tuesdays, which is tomorrow, they have a bunch of tacos. Any taco you want for $2. And they're nice size tacos. And they're only 2 bucks. But I'm broke. So I cannot participate. Um, you know, still gotta wait till payday. Ha <laughs> ha. But um, even when payday comes, huh? I still can't buy tacos because I have bills to pay. Um, what else? I save a lot of gas not driving downtown. A lot of gas. Um, I also save myself a lot of headaches because I don't drive downtown. Uh, cars, cars stress me out. I don't like driving. So, if you don't like driving, just, just find public transit it's so much easier it's easier on your day it's easier on you just you ain't gotta worry about nothing just find you some find you a bus to take and just take the bus and go on down there um what else yeah they have okay like as far as like fraternities and sororities they have those but i'm not in those because i'm pretty sure you have to pay to get in those like you know there's like Probably like a sign up fee or like an initiation fee or something like that. And no, if you're in if you're in a sorority or fraternity, you don't have a specific, you know, house or nothing like that. Like I'm pretty sure UH probably has that. But if you're if you are at UHD, you do not have and you're in a sorority, you go back to your place at the end of the day. Like how, wherever you slept that night, that's where you're going back that same night. Like they don't have a specific like designated area for, for for fraternities and sororities to sleep at. Like they don't they don't do that. Um, I think the tuition is like seven thousand. I'm pretty sure I'm getting, I'm being charged more than that. But you know, <laughs> hey, on on Google I googled it and it says seven thousand dollars because UH is fourteen thousand dollars and I'm pretty sure it's more than fourteen thousand dollars. So I know for sure I'm getting charged more than seven thousand dollars a semester. Um, but classes are so cheap, dude. Classes, you can pay for classes out of pocket. And that saves a lot of time, a lot of hassle, a lot of headaches. Because if you just pay out of pocket, you don't have to worry about, you know, paying it back in the future, the interest rates and all that extra stuff. But they're so cheap, dude. And also, UHD has like a really good uh, program. Not a program, but like, um, what is it? Like a summer class thing where you can actually get financial aid for your summer classes. And if you don't have enough financial aid to cover, I think UHD will actually cover some of it for you. Because UHD has extra scholarship money left over and they will be more than welcome to give it out to a student if you ask for it. Like, so that's a good thing because I know for sure UH has so many students. And if somebody needed some more money in their tuition, like, oh, do y'all have any extra money? Uh, no, if we do, it's not going towards you. Like, no, sorry. Um, so... 
that's what I like about it. Um, I haven't uploaded in so long. Oops, sorry. Um, I've been busy doing absolutely nothing. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I've been busy with work. Um, dee -dee -dee. Nope, busy doing nothing. I mean, I've been at work, but I ain't busy doing work, you know. Um, so thanks for watching. I think there's a subscribe button somewhere along here. I'm filming this on my iPad, so I don't know where exactly it usually is. But I know whenever I'm watching videos, it's like down here somewhere or over here somewhere. And you know, um, you can click like the little notification bell if you want to see when I upload, which is uh, hardly ever, probably close to very never. So, I mean, hey, I mean, I'll upload some more if you want. And, um, oh, I'll make another video about ship because boy, have I made some money since the last video that I've made wait since the last video i've made slash done with a shipped video thing dude i've made so much money oh my god but i'm still broke let's not get that mixed up still broke um yes all right y'all okay i'm knocking stuff over it's time for me to go i gotta go bye